Welcome into the Wacky Dynasty Podcast, Episode 3. My name is Luis Lopez. Today I'm with my co-host. Uh, Big Z. And, and a we have a special guest. guest. Paul Jones. Welcome. Wow. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you for uh, joining us. It's going to be a pleasure. We're going to go through a few few things I went through last week. Uh, we had a trade go on today that made me... Maybe you heard of, maybe you didn't, and uh, maybe looking at some uh, other things while we're on the way. But uh, let's just jump into it. Whoa, that's new. Nothing to see there. Just week two recap. Sorry, a little, a little, uh, t- a little slow right now. That's my computer. We need to admire that picture a little more. All right, let's go on to the first game here. Um, probably the two best teams in the league. Uh, we're definitely both fighting for a uh, championship this week. So it was a heavy, heavyweight battle. And uh, your boy came out on top. First dub of the season. Might be the only one until I play Garrett again. But uh, Kyler, as you can see here in the middle, he's the GOAT. Best player on planet Earth. Gibbs, never a doubt. Olave has a little bit of a bounce back. Uh, Mark Andrews has a little bit of a bounce back. He scored 83 points. That's enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. The main, here wins the, win. <laughs> the main point oh. here is that Jaylen, the picture is Jalen Naylor on the right. Uh, he, heard Ian, he heard Ian's hate last week, and he answered. Huge game from Naylor there. All right, let's move yeah. on. That, you know, we got to play this sound, because this was the worst game of the week. Wow. Wow. Anything else to add on uh, Garrett's team? No, I mean, obviously his team's pretty beat up. Looks like he's going to be rebuilding here, so, I mean, it's a good thing, it he, has, it is. Good thing he has McCaffrey and Ayuk. Yeah, I will agree. Oh, does Axe. Does Axe take it over? Uh, you know, I just, I got screwed. Pretty much all there is to it. Mahomes sucks. Tyreek sucks. Laporta sucks. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. is really good. And uh, I think you have the wrong James Cook for the picture. Well, when I Googled it, that's what popped up. So I rolled with it. Yeah, I mean, seeing Zach's young receivers really show out looks kind of good. I mean, for him, having those draft picks panned out and... I mean, his team put up some big numbers this week, so maybe signs yeah. of things to come in the future. Hopefully we see Zach a little more competitive. Moving on to the next game. Oh, my goodness. This, this one was a beatdown. I mean, straight up and down, Ian just kind of wiped the floor with me. It was over very quickly because Kamara decided to score, I think, three times, maybe even four in the first half. Um, yeah, Pete but, yeah, put up I mean, big four. Putting up 44 points, is that's tough to beat. And then his other players were not, uh, other than Dalton Schultz, no one else really had a bad game for him. Yeah, the uh, second most points scored in a week ever in the Dynasty. Did you go back and fact check that yourself? Ian did at work today. He let me know. What a, what a fucking loser. All right. Um, yeah, we got some, I mean, Kamara, balled out. Brees, good. Jalen. Fine. Devonta, good. Both of them. And then, Paul, uh, a little disappointing. Diggs and Evans didn't uh, score two touchdowns each like they did last week. But um, yeah, still very involved. Yeah, you're going to get what you get from them. They're kind of two older guys, and some weeks they're going to come play. Some weeks they're going to take a back seat. And Godwin really took over for the, the Buccaneers, and Nico took over for the Texans, so... It is what it is. And there's a... Uh, you want to talk about Kelsey at all? He kind of sucks. Yeah, I mean, kind of all tight ends have so far this year. There hasn't been really a standout... A couple standout games, but Kelsey's been really disappointing. Couldn't agree more. Moving on here, we got uh, Chris versus Tim. Uh, Chris, wow. With the absolute beatdown again. Uh... 
Chris's team showed out. I mean, we just saw Zach's team earlier. Uh, the young wide receivers balled out. And now young wide receivers balling out. Neighbors, huge. Bowers, he's not a wide receiver, but he might as well be at tight end. Drake London caught that touchdown at the end, saved his day. Uh, just all around showing out except for Jamar, for Chris. Yeah, 18 targets for Neighbors is wild. And yeah. uh, he'll keep in those. Um, and then for Tim, a little disappointing. Uh, Waddle, you know, his quarterback doesn't have a solid brain anymore. It's probably goo. Uh, Keon Coleman wasn't needed. They scored like six touchdowns right away. Um, I mean, you had to start Jordan Aggins. That that stinks. I wouldn't do that. But uh, yeah, just uh, just a poor performance. Yeah, when Josh Allen puts up less than 10 points, you know, it's going to be a tough week for you. He's been hit with the injury bug, too. You know, no Puka, no Njoku, even though he's an idiot. And, um, I mean, like I said, Tua got hurt. That's going to hurt Waddle for sure. So, uh, tough week for Tim. Great week for Chris. Uh, and an absolute smackdown of a fantasy match. And um, these are some tweets. Uh, we did find out that... Uh, Tim was not made aware of these tweets before he drafted him. So there might be some contract negotiations going on soon. He might even be cut from the team. Who knows? We'll see. That's uh, that's Joe Burrow on the left there, too. <laughs> well, I and I want, I'm and i sorry. We can't just go through. I'm not, look at this one. I like touching younger kids, Peters. Come on now. A bit suspicious. So, um, yeah. I mean, Zach, you're the commissioner. Do you see a ban in his future? Um, for Tim or for Josh Allen? Maybe both. Might have to be both. But, uh, you know, we'll see. Right. If he beats me this week, I'll probably suspend him. Makes sense. All right, moving on here. We got to let the sound play real quick. Um. Yeah, so... Uh, it was a short-lived week of Cade losing because now he won. Um, honestly, pretty good matchup. Both of them uh, showed out. Nobody had like a really bum player, maybe except McConkey. I mean, it's still four point five. We've seen much worse. I've seen worse on my team starting. So, yeah, just uh, a great game between two okay teams. Losing Pacheco is going to be rough. It does let him start two B Robinsons at running back if he wants to. That'd be kind of cool. That would be pretty cool. But you wouldn't know which is which. True. True. Also, Kittle didn't practice today. They said he might be out this week. Well, so. we'll get to that. We'll get to that later. You're jumping ahead. You're jumping way ahead. Sorry, this is my first podcast. Oh, it's okay. I don't blame you. Um, yeah. I mean, the guys that we expected to show out showed out. Everyone had a good game. Rashad White, disappointing, and McConkey disappointing. But just a good game. There's not really too much to say here. Yeah, I mean, even starting McConkey, if that was A.J. Brown instead, would have been a different game. So very, I very know. true. A.J. Brown out was huge. All right. And now we're going to move on to what Paul already jumped ahead to, our in-memoriam section. Um, these are quote-unquote notable injuries through week two. Um, Starting off here, there was a really funny one. So actually, after this game, I looked at Ian and I said, I think he's faking an injury, so he has an excuse for why they lost at the Eagles game. And um, now Jordan Love looks like he might even play week three. That take is looking more and more right. Yeah, he got a little bruise on his knee and had to sit out a, couple of, had to sit out a week. So, yeah. Like a pussy. But, you know, he might come back and sit on the bench with the way uh, Malik Willis is playing. Couldn't agree more. I mean, they're winning games, and that's not something they were doing with Jordan Love. So, makes you question it. Uh, Tua, we talked about him. He was dead. Sorry. JJ's been out. JJ's been out. Is JJ a little injury? (laughs) Um, Oh. I mean the way Darnold the way Darnold is playing, we're not missing him. So 
Well, here's why it was quote unquote notable. What I did was I went through everyone's roster, and if you were rostering someone who was injured, I put them on the list. Uh, and he uh, fits that criteria. Yeah, I mean Zach has him on the taxi, or on. You might even have him on the IR. I don't know. He's probably my second most talented quarterback on my roster. The way uh, Trevor Lawrence is playing, and the way to his brain is rum- rambling around. Zach may be a little desperate at quarterback right now. Moving on to running backs, Christian McCaffrey. He's been out. He's a bitch. He'll be back. Uh, he'll be back. And you got Mason in the meanwhile. Ken Bone Walker, um, week to week. Doesn't look like he's going to play again. I don't think he's been practicing yet. So uh, we'll see there. And uh, feel free to jump in on any of these, but I'm going to just kind of rapid fire through a few of them. Like Nick Chubb, he's on the pop. Jonathan Brooks. Pop, Moster, week to week. Um, he's got a question shot. Right now. He's yeah. he's practice limited. He's he might be back. We'll see about Moster. What about Mixon, Zach? Anything about Mixon? Uh, no, he's he, gonna he's gonna miss this week. He, he didn't is. practice again today. Yeah, he's afraid of the Vikings defense. That, I wouldn't would start him against the Vikings anyways. We're gonna lock him down. You're a real fan, Pacheco. He went on IR. He's going to be out four plus. It's probably actually looking like five to six. Um, yeah, he, he had surgery yeah. too. Success never surgery. <laughs> Marshawn Lloyd, he's been out. Uh, Ceh, he's on the pup still. And then, sad, sad shout out to uh, OJ Simpson. He died April tenth. OJ died. <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I didn't know that. Yeah, unfortunately. I'm sorry to... Oh my gosh, live on the podcast. I'm so sorry to hear that, Paul. Yeah, he's been dead. Sorry as I am. He's in heaven now. He's reunited with... uh, Leslie Neal... What is his name? The dude from... Yeah, yeah, Leslie Nielsen. Yeah. R.I.P. to OJ. All right, moving on here to the wide receivers. Two very, very notable Rams out. For multiple weeks, uh, Cooper Cup and Puka. He may uh, Cooper Cup may avoid the IR. We're not sure. They've also you have a lot of players in IR right now, so if they put him on there, they'd just be wasting another IR spot. So uh, he might just sit. Who knows how long he'll be out? For sure, out for the next couple of weeks. Puka, he'll be back in a while. Hollywood out for the season. What a bitch, dude. Uh, Jordan Addison. Uh, do you, anything on Addison, guys? Uh, yeah, I don't think he practiced again. I think he'll be out this week again. Rats. So we have we have Naylor, so that we don't need him. Yeah, Naylor is better. Through that, and he has, I think, zero DUIs. So, <laughs> big plus. Can't confirm it, but <laughs> we think. <laughs> Keenan Allen, uh, week to week. Uh, Zach, anything on Keenan and Debo? Uh, Keenan is a fucking pussy. He's out with a heel injury again. You yeah, know. bad cleats. He's like 60 years old. He should either try to play or retire. Would you try if Caleb was your quarterback? No. But, you know, he, he chose to go to the Bears. Yeah. And uh, Debo has his own show on Bleacher Report now, and it's one of the worst things I've ever attempted to watch. I'm but sorry uh, to hear that. You know, he's good at football. He'll be back. He will be back indeed. Uh, A.J. Brown, he's going to be out this week too. He said a couple of weeks last week. I didn't know exactly how many that meant, but for sure one more. Maybe two. And Ricky Pearsall got shot. Uh, yeah. Moving on to tight ends. <laughs> oh, you want to add about Ricky? No, he should just be back right now. I think he's milking it. He's on the pop. I think he has to stay out till week four. He shouldn't have needed to go on the pop. That's true. That's true. Moving on to the tight end. Speaking of bitches, Evan Ingram uh, pulled a hammy or something. Just a bitch move. So he's going to be out this week and uh, uncertain about his future. I think that's the first pregame injury during warmups I've seen where it holds somebody like fantasy relevant out for a game. That was pretty crazy. 
and it happened like not even an hour before kickoff. Like there was yeah. an hour left before kickoff. So um, didn't leave managers with too much time. Uh, Jake Ferguson, I he's been practicing. Um, him and Mace or uh, Jordan Love, it's kind of crazy. Um, I don't think he'll play, but maybe. Cade could use him. Cade does. Njoku, Zach, go ahead on Njoku. Yeah, I, I, you know, we've been over this. You know, he's just, he's stupid. Burned himself. He'll be back. I think. DJ, he's on the pop. He'll be back in a few more weeks. And then uh, this was surprising today. Kittle, uh, he was mad at his team owner for trading for TJ Hawkinson. Saw it as a kind of, you know, stab in the back moment for him. And now he's he's considering sitting out this week in protest. I think he's faking an injury, too. I wouldn't be surprised. You know, it's wide receiver university. He's a tight end. He doesn't belong. Not at all. And then a moment of silence again for uh, Chris in the guillotine league. Sorry about that, Chris. If you're listening, uh, we wish you the best. And, uh, yeah, good luck in the future. Tough one, tough one for Chris. The Burrow uh, chase stack did not work out. Yeah. Ray Ray, Ray, Ray McLeod barely got me above him, too, on Monday night. So uh, it's good to see Kirk throw it to Ray Ray a couple times for me. Yeah, we had a few people sweating that out that last night. So uh, congratulations, Paul, and we all move on. Ian's been uh, very close to elimination both weeks so far. <laughs> Calling him out. You know. All right. We're going to the week three waiver wire. Um, we're going to kind of fly through these because they're kind of lame. I put on 40 for Jawan Jennings. Hope he's good for a few weeks. Nice. Steal some points. Thank you. I dropped Jawan Johnson. And uh, Garrett put down seven. Zach, you put down a zero dollar bid. Mike Kosecki to Aaron. Went for $19. He dropped my name, Jeff Wilson. And uh, Zach, you put another $0 bid for him. Uh, shout out to Jacecki for going from one of the worst gritties in the league to almost one a picture best. perfect gritty this year. <laughs> He's been Good practicing. Uh, Hunter Henry to Garrett for $11. Nobody got a spin. Dropped down on those hard. Yeah, how much we spend on those hard, do we know? Um... I'd have to go through the show docs. I don't exactly remember. But it was something, right? It he was didn't pick him up for zero. Oh, yeah. It was way too much for one week. But it's also Dynasty Fab. No one spends it. Well, uh, well yeah, if you're named Cade, you just dump 100 on a no-namer. So. 40 on Joan Jennings. That's a pretty decent amount. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Xfinity's calling me those bastards. Happening. What was that? Tushu Atwell for zero dollars to Aaron. He we skipped over Derek Carr. QB one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Derek Carr to Ian for ten dollars. Kate put in a zero dollar bid. Go ahead, Zach. Go two two. Derek Carr sucks. I two two, he might get a couple of targets, you know, with everyone else hurt. Clyde uh, has PTSD. You know, nothing else to say about that. Stafford Not dropped really. a pretty big, pretty pretty bold move. Then he later got picked up by Cade, who dropped Jameis Winston, who is the, um, the new quarterback sneak guru in Cleveland, apparently. Yeah. Three carries, three first downs. I guess two carries, three snaps. To lead efficiency. Paul, I saw today you picked up Kareem Hunt. Yeah, you know, making a move and having being able to put somebody on my IR and then having an open spot, I just figured why not give it a shot, see what happens with that backfield, and, you know, worst case, I drop him. I didn't spend anything on him, so worst case, I drop him in a few, few weeks and nothing hurt. Nothing hurt at all. Zach picked up Jalen Tolbert. He picked up Stafford. Uh, Garrett picked, dropped Jamal Williams, and uh, Tim picked up Brenton Strange. Sick name. All right, moving on to the Dynasty Daddy Power Rankings. 
Um, I have the sorted by starter rank now instead of overall rank, but you can still see the overall ranks as well. Um, Paul, your team didn't... Dynasty Daddy gives you no respect. Your team did not shift at all after the trade. That's right. When McCaffrey's back, it'll... Yeah, I mean, Adam McCaffrey puts zero on, zero points to my team right now, so... Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a good move for me, and I don't really care what Dynasty Daddy thinks about it. No more super team, though. A lot of com- com- contenders. And one fraud down there, yeah. I see. What, what happened there, Luis? How does it feel to be the only fraud? His internet cuts out at the best times, most convenient times for him. I don't think his internet is out. I think he's crying. Luis? Did you guys keep going without me? We we did. You all right? Yeah, my phone my phone just cut off. The Wi Fi just turned off for some reason, and then it just made me go away. But now I'm back. The recording's still going though. Everything should be fine. Oh, just, we're good. Oh. We can move on. All right. We got we got week three predictions here. Let's go through them. Uh, me v Cade, I'm happy to say it's his clean sweep for Cade. Um, he's going to win this week, and he's going to win the league. Pretty easy. Zach versus Tim. Oh, yeah, very easily. Zeke v Tim. I, Zach, I picked you. I'm the only one. Yeah, that was stupid of you, dude. Dude, your team <laughs> is sneaky. Good. Both me and Tim are both riddled with injuries right now so and it's both miami receivers head to head so whoever <laughs> whoever skylar thompson likes more might it'll, win the matchup here it'll be an interesting matchup it will the passes will go to a chain actually uh ian versus garrett ian clean sweep don't know garrett if to be might not top 70 points in a week this year you know all well, that not, means no one else will have a chance to shotgun i'm not saying that's a bad thing but it's just something that might happen. And if, if last week was had anything to say about Ian's team, it could be the greatest fantasy football team ever created. And I saw that firsthand, so I'm not picking against him. Yeah, the only, only person who could beat Ian is Cade. You got a point there, but Cade would obviously win. <laughs> yeah. All right, Paul versus Zach. Paul, you pick Zach. What the heck? Yeah, I'm coming off a really tough loss. My confidence is... You know, there's not much left. And Zach had a great week last week. Marv Harrison Jr. looks like the real deal. And I just, I think his team puts up a lot of points this week and my team does not. All right, fair enough. Thank you guys for picking me. Been there. (laughs) You picked uh, up over Aaron, too. Yeah, I think um, the Bengals have, they play Monday night against Washington. So I think Burrow and Chase figure it out and... Um, another week without Ken Walker. Looks like Charbonnet will get the start. So I like Chris's team to just, you know, beat Aaron, and Aaron starts out a really tough 0 3 because this team is not an 0 3 team. Nope. I'm going to have a better record than him, and I probably will be scoring lower than almost 200 points than he will after three weeks if he loses this one. All right. And then. The moment you've all been waiting for. We saved the best for last. One more trade. Let's play this sound here before we get into it. Here we go. Money talk. Here comes the money. Money, 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 money. <laughs> Paul Jones and Garrett Plank make the mega trade. Paul, I'm going to let you take it over. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of been a trade that we've been going back and forth with offers for, you know, a couple of weeks now, it seems like. Um, McCaffrey, obviously the focal point, and Ayuk just kind of got thrown in there today. I decided I kind of wanted him to. Um, giving up Diggs, something I don't want to do because I do like Diggs. Um, he has a good pairing with especially having Stroud. Um, and then Polk was my first draft selection I had this year. Obviously, I give up a ton of picks here. Um, if you look at kind of big picture with this trade and then the, when I traded away Puka, really I gave up Puka 
and my first rounder next year. And I got back McCaffrey, Ayuk, and a second rounder next year. All the other picks just kind of came to me and then I sent them away. So um, still leaves me with two first round draft picks this year. Also an extra second round pick next year. Got a little younger at the receiver position. And then, you know, added McJesus to my, as my running back when he comes back from the IR. So um, I think it works out kind of both ways. Garrett's obviously looking to rebuild. He gets a lot of picks and a young receiver in Polk. And then, you know, that great leadership Diggs brings. Her Diggs is what almost held up the trade. Uh, Garrett was adamant about getting him. Yeah, but Garrett can get the next Caleb Williams with uh, with his first round picks, and uh, it's a good trade for both uh, both sides. I think. I can tell you what I like about Diggs is when Cade beat me in the semifinals last year. He stood on the sideline and watched him celebrate the whole time until they they were out the field. So he's not a guy that takes a loss easily. He'll stand there on yeah. the field with the cameras around him, the cameras to to let him know that he's upset about it. So, like I said, a lot of heart, great leadership. Doesn't really care if he gets the ball, just wants to be a part of a winning team. That is what he's best known for. And um, with that, the podcast is over. Any uh, final thoughts, Paul, before we before you head out? Anything you want to shout out? Twitter, Facebook? No, I don't really do the whole social media deal. You know, I'm a lot older than all you guys, so... Just I not Ian. He was held back a few years. But uh yeah, it was good having you. I'm excited to watch Garrett Wilson tonight. You know, I wouldn't have uh traded him for Mark Andrews, but you know, neither guys are neither guy's looking too good right now. So just real quick shout out who I'm actually excited to watch tonight is Braylon Allen. He's on my taxi squad and I was not expecting him to get any run at all and he vultured two touchdowns last week. It didn't matter because Ian still crushed me, but it was just cool to see. I'll be watching for him, and I'll I'll be watching for my uh, uh, best free agent pickup of all time, Demario Douglas. He's gonna ball out against the Jets defense tonight. Just you watch. And with uh, and with that, we uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode next week. Thanks for listening.